All right, guys, I just got this in, so I didn't think there was much of a point in the unboxing of the actual, this box here. I just wanted to talk about the Super Retrocade. Uh, this box really inside and out. I didn't think I should bother even showing you guys me taking it out of the outside cardboard box. What would be the point of that? No, no, we'll just start with this and we'll talk about everything that is available here. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I can't even explain to you the texture of this case. It's like matte, but like some parts of it are gloss. Uh, they did a really good job on this this time uh, over the generations thing, not dogging the generations at all. I never got to use one personally. I just, I saw the boxing and, and you know, comparatively, this is just dramatically better. Um, so it shows the Super Retrocade, the ultimate home arcade, and you got Strider and, and Mega Man slash Rockman. It even shows some scaled down version of the controllers, and I, I think this might be the actual true to size thing, don't hold me to that. But, um, it mentions that it's HDMI and AV ready, it's from Retrobit, packed with over 90 games. Uh, this might even, oh my gosh, be some of them, go figure. So the ultimate home arcade, and then you open this little door, and popular console titles. That's right, this is a two-in-one kind of scenario where you have some arcade games and then you have home home console games. Uh, from way back when, people, we're talking Mighty Final Fight. We're talking Knights of the Round. I couldn't make out the, of the... Burger Time. Are you kidding me? Burger Time, y'all? I love me some Burger Time. Just a load of stuff here. Um... And it says, you know, the things are officially licensed by Capcom, Data East, IRIM, and Technos. Um, let's see here. Let's turn it to the next side. Whoop. Shows on the side the three primary sides, front, back, and the other opposing side of the, the opposite side of the console. On this side, before we go to the back, let's talk about what this says in English specifically. Oh, packed with over 90 classic games, including original arcade favorites, and popular console titles. AV and HDMI compatible with the 6-foot HDMI cable included. Two 10-foot wired USB 6-button controllers compatible with PC and Mac. Intuitive smart UI with smart filters in it for easy navigation. Internal save states and button tutorials. SD card slot to save and transfer game progress. And it's compatible with official or third-party USB controllers. That's interesting. I'm assuming they would have to follow this schematic, at least four buttons on the for the face buttons and then two center buttons and a D-pad. Uh, it also has some shoulder buttons there. On the back side, it mentions that it's pretty easy. Uh, user interface, you select game, you select your settings, and you could choose between AV or HDMI. I'm assuming it shows too that there's a lot of more clarity in that. I don't know why it has AV stretched out. I feel like by default people's TVs don't stretch it out, but it could be wrong. I feel like, I thought normally it was like letterboxed in there. It could be wrong, or maybe everybody's TV is different, or maybe you just have to change those settings by default. Packed with over 90 popular retro games. It mentions, I'm not gonna read everything here, it mentions all the arcade games and all the console favorites, that's great. In an effort to stay true to the arcade experience, some games may run slow or flicker due to the original, due to the original format. It mentions specifically arcade experiences. Uh, I'm gonna obviously run some console games as well to see if they have any flicker or slowdown. Um, obviously they're saying, you know, not not all the time, just at moments in the game. Uh, oh, there you go. Console and controllers are not true to size. Right, guys. These the controllers are not that size. Don't think that they're an inch wide. Uh, that's, uh, two inches. Ages 10 plus. And that is it for the outside of the box. Let's dig into it. This guy. I have not opened this before. Only the front little door thing there. The So I don't know how this opens. I'm doing this with one hand, so you'll have to excuse me. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's one of those clear holders that keeps everything in place. So I'm going to lay this on its back, and it should just slide on out. Snazzy, snazzy. Okay. So it's ooh, individually wrapped too. Much like the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, this comes with two controllers. It did state how long the cord was, I believe. These look very substantial compared to the 
the mucky muck that we got in the Super Nintendo Classic. Oh, but it's longer than the NES Classic. Great, but not long enough still. These guys, they got some serious length to them. Also, I already noticed that there's two that are concave and two that are convex, if that's the word right. Just very similar to the, the Super Nintendo here in the US. Some buttons. The power adapter looks like... Please tell me it's not one of those scenarios where it's like uh, another micro SD. Not micro SD, micro USB cord. Oh, one of these bad boys. Thank God, bring this back. Retro, retro, retro. All right, I'm eating potatoes of it all. Oh, it actually feels like it's about the same weight as the SNES Classic and the NES Classic. You can see there you have the SD card slot. The HDMI port, the AV output, which is built into it as opposed to just being a little port that's like custom and then have it its own red, yellow, white AVI. I mean AV, sorry everybody. And the little power hole. There's just really not much to this and that makes me feel so much more comfortable than, you know, half of these newer consoles like the PS4. Oh, I have a camera too. Oh, I got all this stuff I got to plug in. So this is great. This is fantastic. There's nothing more to it. Thanks guys.